Hey there, welcome back to my channel, it's me the Mind Injector. In this video we're going to dive deep into the world of AMC Entertainment. But this isn't your typical AMC video. We're talking about Citigroup's bearish outlook, B. Riley's bullish price target, the potential for a short squeeze and a surprising twist involving Taylor Swift. Stay tuned because there's a lot to cover and you won't want to miss any of it. Let's kick things off with Citigroup. They recently reiterated their bearish outlook on AMC Entertainment, maintaining their underperformer rating and even lowering their price target from $15.50 per share to $4.75 per share. Yeah, it's a significant drop and it's causing quite a stir. Now, this decision came after Citigroup conducted a thorough evaluation of AMC's management initiatives, especially those related to the company's equity offerings. It's interesting to note that 6 months ago, Citigroup initiated coverage of AMC with a sell rating. So, what's driving this skepticism? To understand Citigroup's stance, we have to look at two narratives surrounding AMC. First, there's the narrative of AMC's substantial debt accumulation during the pandemic when movie theater attendance plummeted. The company is still recovering from this financial strain. The second narrative revolves around AMC's status as a meme stock during the pandemic, which led to a significant overvaluation of its equity. This is where much of Citigroup's skepticism stemmed from, the uncertainty about how AMC's share price would be affected when it converted its preferred shares, the apes, into common stock. Now, let's talk about box office projections. Based on predictions from the Hollywood Stock Exchange, a moderate recovery of approximately 25% is expected in 2023 compared to previous years. However, it's crucial to note that box office revenues are projected to remain several billion dollars below 2019 levels. While this projection isn't set in stone, it does provide a general sense of the expected recovery trajectory based on the performance of various movies. So, there's hope, but it's not a guarantee. Despite the challenges, AMC's CEO Adam Aaron and his management team have received praise. Citigroup's analyst commended Aaron for skillfully navigating the company through exceptionally tough circumstances. AMC faced an unprecedented situation when its theaters were temporarily shuttered due to the pandemic. AMC's response included the issuance of ape units and efforts to consolidate them into a single class of stock. The company also aimed to capitalize on what could potentially be an inflated equity value to regain control over its debt. Given these circumstances, AMC's leadership has been recognized. Now, here's where it gets interesting. B. Riley, while not exactly bullish on the company, has put forth a very bullish price target for AMC stock, suggesting it could eventually reach $45 per share. Yes, you heard that right, $45. This forecast is based on the assumption that AMC will soon return its pre-pandemic levels of profitability. According to B. Riley, if AMC were to regain its previous levels of profitability and explore expansion opportunities beyond its current operations, it could drive a significant surge in the company's stock price. So, what's my take on all of this? Well, AMC is clearly making strides in improving its business fundamentals. Based on its current trajectory and box office forecasts, the company is expected to reach pre-pandemic revenue levels by 2024 or 2025. While the price target of $45 seems incredibly optimistic, the $5 per share target from Citigroup seems a bit too pessimistic. There are solid reasons to consider further upside potential for AMC from its current share price. Recently, the company successfully raised $325 million in new equity capital by issuing 40 million shares. And here's the kicker. AMC still has 350 million shares available for future issuance. If they were to issue these remaining shares at a similar price, it would be a game changer, potentially raising around $3.5 billion in cash. That's almost three times the company's current market capitalization. Now, sure, this could have bearish implications for AMC's share price due to dilution concerns, but it also presents a positive perspective. It suggests that AMC will emerge next year as a significantly more robust business with substantial liquidity, which could boost its resilience and growth prospects. Alright, let's talk about the potential for a short squeeze, something that's been closely associated with stocks like AMC. For a short squeeze to occur, 
a heavily shorted stock must experience a rapid and significant increase in price. This forces short sellers to cover their positions by buying the asset, driving the price even higher. Certain conditions can increase the likelihood of a short squeeze, like high short interest, a limited number of shares available, high borrowing costs, technical breakouts and the robust trading volume. Before we get into the exciting details, let me introduce you to Mumu Financial. If you open a brokerage account with Mumu and deposit at least $1 using the link in the description, you'll get a chance to draw a free stock worth up to $2000. But that's not all. If you make a net deposit of $100 or more, you'll receive not just one, but 5 free stocks worth up to $2000 each. And if you're really serious about investing, you can deposit $1000 or more and get a whooping 15 free stocks bringing your potential earnings to a staggering $30,000. So, sign up now using the link in the description and get those free stocks. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, where does AMC stand in all of this? Short interest in AMC shares has decreased significantly following the conversion of apes into common shares. Before this conversion, AMC had around 27% short interest and sky-high borrowing fees. Currently, about 12.5% of the free float is being shorted, with a cost to borrow of 6.3% and a utilization rate of 59%. These figures are notably different from the period before the conversion. So, what's the bottom line here? While there's still significant short interest in AMC shares, the current setup is less conducive to a short squeeze, because AMC has already reached its all-time lows. However, it's important to note that trading volume has remained consistently high, suggesting ongoing volatility and persistent risks for short sellers. Additionally, technical breakout points indicate that AMC shares are deeply oversold, further adding complexity to the situation. It's worth mentioning that the investment thesis regarding AMC has shifted toward a focus on the company's fundamentals, rather than just aiming to profit from short demand. The company has bolstered its liquidity by issuing new equity and has reported strong quarterly box office results. These results are expected to lead the company back to pre-pandemic revenue levels soon. Now, for a twist, Taylor Swift, the global superstar, recently announced that her upcoming movie would be released globally, including theaters overseas and in the US. This announcement has had a significant impact on AMC. AMC CEO Adam Aaron stated that Swift's move will be a massive catalyst for the company. The film will be shown at all of AMC's theaters in the US, and Odeon Cinema, owned by AMC, will play the film at all its European theaters. So, there you have it, the latest on AMC Entertainment. The story keeps evolving, and is far from over. Whether you're bullish, bearish or somewhere in between, one thing's for sure. The world of AMC is never dull. This is it for this video guys, thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below.